everybody, welcome back to Surfer Travels. I'm Randy, and in this video, we're going to fix a problem with this propane sensor. You're probably going to hear a beep, but it's flashing a yellow light right now, which says it's time, there goes the beep, which says it's time for it to be replaced. These propane sensors have a life expectancy of about seven years, and this one has met that expectancy and now needs to be replaced. So there's just four screws to hold it on and then two wires to connect it. I've already got a replacement one, so we're going to swap it out. This is a wire cutter and stripper tool. And one thing you need to make sure you keep track of is the black is the hot lead or the red wire. The white is the ground. You don't want to mix these up or it won't work correctly. So I'm going to cut this. That. Now we got the old one out. I'm going to strip a little bit of the wire. And just to make sure I don't have an issue with the wires shorting out, I'm going to connect, put these connectors on them now after I strip the wire off so that there's no chance the two don't touch each other. So these are Lego connectors. I don't know if you can see it there. And they're really great for an application like this. They're actually, I keep a box of these with my Airstream tools. And they're nice because they just snap in place. You can see there's a spot for the two wires to go in and then these two yellow handles are up. When you put the wire in, you just close the handle down and it secures the wire. And then you can bring the other wire into the other slot. And connect them and you've got a, a very positive connection that can be undone at any time so the next time this propane detector needs to be replaced i'll be able to very easily go in and add an add a replacement in by just using this type of connector but first we're going to apply this to our our hot lead here Just like that. Now we will strip the ground. Just a little bit more. And we're gonna attach the connector to that. Here's my replacement. It's exact replacement for this unit. I bought it through Airstream Supply. Um, actually, Woodlands Airstream. And they're, they're a, a dealer in the Chicago area that does mail order. So I was able to order this online and get the exact replacement, which I wanted because I've got a hole and everything here. 
to fit this. They do off, you can buy a bunch of different ones on Amazon and if you don't have an Airstream, you possibly could find the one that you need there for a lot cheaper than what I paid for this. This one cost a little over $100. So, if you remember, our ground is the white lead. That and our red, our positive lead is the black wire. That goes to our red lead on the device. There. Now you can see it's blinking red. Whoop, it was blinking red, my wire came off. Okay, so now you can see it's blinking red, which means everything's connected and it's working. So it's just a matter now of just putting this back into place. And reusing the screws that came with it. Actually, the screws that were here from the previous one. There, and we can test it by hitting this button right here. Interesting, doesn't make any noise. Guess it's time to read the instructions. All right, so I, I checked the instructions. It says that it takes three minutes um, before the propane detector is operational. And that's when you get the red blinking light. Now it's a green light, which indicates that the propane detector is running and I should be able to test it. There you go. Now it's back to a red light and reset itself and then it will go back to green saying it's in operation. So we're all set, ready to go. There's the green, thumbs up. Well, you can see we've replaced the propane detector and we're all screwed in and, and in place, all set to go. And anybody can do this. This is a real simple job. You don't, you don't really even need to disconnect your battery if you don't have, if you don't want to, as long as you're careful with the leads and you don't short them out. Um, you can easily quickly replace this, it takes less than five minutes. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And hopefully we will see you guys down the road. Take care, everybody. Yes.